Okay, um, welcome to the first tutorial for this episode in Azure, Microsoft Azure Storage. And today we'll be looking at creating a jump server, creating a jump server. For example, you, you might ask a question, what is a jump server? What is a jump server? Now listen, a jump, a jump server is an intermediary server through which you can access a server behind a firewall. It's an intermediary server through which you can access a server uh, uh, behind a firewall. It simply means it provides information needed to communicate with a targeted um, um, device. Now this this minute we are going to jump into the uh, Azure portal to create a, a jump server. I will give I will show you step by step in creating an Azure server. Now, if you go to our resource group, if you watch it, there is no resources here. There is no resources, so we'll have to go and choose from the resource group which of them you come here. I will be choosing my resource group um, from I'll be choosing I'll be using the, the jump server now. Let us create a virtual machine. A virtual machine. You come here. You create your virtual machine. You select your resource group. You go down here. You um, select your. You put in your virtual machine name. Uh, we jump server jump server vm the region will be the east us the availability option will leave it default the security type will leave it to standard this image will go ahead and select our windows server 2019 data center now in in the area of the size you choose the size you want but for now we'll leave it as default in our next video i'll be teaching you guys on how to um how to select how to select um, the size, the cost of the size, and so on. So let's go ahead and put our our username, which is the cloud admin, and I set in my password is a unique password. Um, okay, over here we we'll choose the arrow DP, and we'll go to the next Dix. We we'll leave in we we'll leave it as default. We'll go to the next one, which is the network, the networking. We'll come here, we'll create a new networking. Um, we'll create a new networking, which is this one, a jump server uh, net, bnet, okay. And the default, which we we'll change the, the subnet to um, jump server subnet, subnet, okay. We'll click OK. Now, the IP address, the, the public IP address will be will leave it there for them. Um, every other thing should be there for. Then you go to the monitoring and you the, the boot, the boot diagnostics should be disabled. You you review and you create. You 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 review and you create. But there is one thing you must know. There is one thing you must you must be aware of. If we are creating a jump server, we have to create two virtual machines. One will have IP address. The other one will not have the IP address. It is from the one that have the IP address we 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 will log into the one that don't have the IP address. Take note, and I want you to also understand that many enterprises have vendors devices or application running in their corporate network. And this may require the use of separate security zones to, uh, with controlled access to resources. And this, in this VM, we use the RDP, but in, 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 some, in, in some other cases, we can also use the Bashan, the Azure, the, the Azure Bashan, which don't you just go straight to the web web, web, uh, web internet and you log in from there. You log in from there. Why this is deploying? Let's go ahead also and create. Let's go ahead also and create another um, VM. 
you come here you click here and the same resource group this one we'll call it um um web web base vm the region will be default the availability default security type default the image should be same with the um with the um jump server windows server 2019 data center and we'll leave the size default we'll come to here we'll put our user username and we'll put your password And in the select inbound port, we we'll disable the ROTP. We we'll disable it. We we'll not use it. Or oh, you can still leave it. You go back. You go to the next um, disk. You go to networking. Now in this network, you we are not making use of the public IP address. We are not making use of it we are not making use of it so it will be none you go back to the monitoring you disable the boot diagnostics and you review and you create it now let's go back to the our um the jump server you go to resources now we have created the jump server you can see it's running is on the um, resource group with the jump server and it look at the public uh, IP address here it has also the private IP address if you go to the networking if you go to the if you go to the networking it look at the arrow DP here Look at the arrow DP and it, um, the, um, which means we have access to login to the VM using the arrow DP and also um, allow VNet inbound that, that support our net, uh, visual network. And for this, if we want to log into this, we just have to go to um, the connect, checking network security group for inbound access for your client and public address then on the process you download it you open it and connect it will require your pass username and password now you go back to use different which is you put your username cloud and you put your password login automatically you click yes and you will see yourself in while we are um running this while we are running this um while we are running this uh, uh, jump server vm let's go back to the um web based vm now on the web based vm for if you watch We disable the public IP address on the web-based VM, but it's still come with the public IP address. We have to go back to the networking. We have to go back to the interface card. IP address configuration, IP forwarding disabled. Okay, you go back here. Ah, good. It don't supposed to come with the public. Like what? Have, what the hell is that? Okay, now the public IP address is no longer there because it's already disabled. We didn't add it there. Now, how can there is no way we can log into this VM? There is no way if you go to a RDP, 
there is no way it will work why because there is no ip ad uh, address prerequisites not met so and we cannot use bashan because why bashan was not enabled and we cannot do ssh because um there is no public ip address on this vm so how can we log into this vm the next thing we are going to do if you watch the vm only have a private uh, a private I, uh, ip address how can we log into the um, into this particular vm is first of all we have to go to the networking we have to go to the arrow dp now we have to change the settings of this arrow dp giving a policy that this for us to access this web-based vm we must pass through the jump server the jump server now how can we do that we'll go to source we'll click ip address we'll click ip address now it will require us to put an ip address now for us for us to access this we have to go back to this place to this jump server and copy the ip address of the jump server go back to the um web base and paste it there paste it and you save why is updating the security rules you go back to the jump server refresh go back to the web okay now it um updated security rule successfully saved now you, you close it you go back to the viewing overview you refresh it you refresh um, the web page when you refreshed it now you have to go back to the jump server we have already signed in there is no point of going back to sign in again now you go back to it now for us to access the web page what are we going to do we are going to go to the start remote desktop now we are going to put in we are going to put in the private ip address of the private ip address of the web page now you go to the web page you copy this ip address once uh, 10.0.0.5 you go back to the jump server open it you copy it and paste it and you connect it will require you to enter your username and your password now you enter the same thing you enter it again watch what will happen and you okay if you watch look at look at the tabs there we have two tab number one this is the vm we are automatically in the vm of the web web based vm and we are logging into that vm through we are logging to that vm through this jumper server so this is how you configure a jump server look at this is how you configure a job server a jump server through from one from the jump server you you log into the targeted device so if when it's open you can from there modify your settings do all the normal settings you want to do and you can still close it change your rules add your server uh, uh, add other servers uh, to manage uh, to manage and the rest so that is it for example if i add any dicks if i add any dicks here on the web base i can still come down to the I can still come down to the um to the web uh, to the web base from here from to the web base and 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 and, and, and um, if I add any settings there or make any uh, um, or any digs or uh, or if I add any digs digs or I change the size of the VM for, for example let's go to the digs. Create an attached dicks, put a name, uh, web base dicks, SSD, okay, and you click save.
this created successfully created uh, created dx and is updating the visual machine this will take much time so let us go back to the web-based server from from here now if in, i know it will be very confusing because you are seeing two tabs here this is the the public ip address of your jump server in this jump server you are accessing the web server from this jump server now we have added dix now let us go to our local server go to file and storage click on dix and look at the dix we added is unknown so what are we going to do right click and initiate initialize finish and you see the disk is there now how do we know that the disk is there you go down go to your file explorer and go to the pc sorry i didn't add the volume go to server manager Add volume, nest, nest, nest. The drive is letter F, nest, nest, and create. Close. Let us go back again and see if it will come up. Now look at it here, letter F. So anything you do on your 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 uh, your visual machine in the portal you come down to the e, e, uh, to the web base and you make your correction thank you for watching this um short tutorial on um jump server do wait to subscribe to my youtube page and follow us on facebook thank you and stay put